Hello and welcome to another Hextom video tutorial. Today we're going to be covering how you can set up the WhatsApp features in our app WhatsApp SMS and Push. This app has several marketing channels. Previously there was Web Push, SMS, and we've now added WhatsApp as well. You can see it on the marketing channels page in our app. There are a couple of prerequisites you're going to need to have before you can set up this feature. You're going to need to have a Facebook or Meta business manager ID with a verified number and a display name. And you're also going to need to have a phone number. If you have all those things, you can go right ahead and set up the WhatsApp marketing registration. You're going to have to follow a few simple steps in order to get things started. You can press the register WhatsApp marketing button to begin. First thing you will see is this small pop-up window here. You can click the link as shown click here to onboard your WhatsApp business account and that will bring you to a new tab. Then you can press continue with Facebook. Continue as in this case Warner. Press continue again. Then you're going to select your Meta business account. The next page will have you select your WhatsApp business account and then choose or create a business profile. This next page will be populated with some details based on what information about your WhatsApp business profile is already available. You can fill out the rest if you like. Then we're going to need to add the phone number for WhatsApp. This phone number cannot already be registered with WhatsApp. It must be a new phone number. This phone number will receive a verification code, which you will need to enter. You'll have to accept the permissions in order to continue. Select the number you just added from this page and hit confirm. This process may take a few minutes to complete. There we go. The process has been initiated successfully. We can now go back to the original tab and press this button to check to make sure that everything's working correctly. We can see the phone number is added now. If you like, you can add a staff phone number as well. This is the WhatsApp number that is used to receive test messages. It doesn't affect the functionality of the WhatsApp channel and isn't required. So on this page, you can also see the auto reload feature. Our app charges you a small amount for every WhatsApp message that's sent. The free plan gives you 10 free messages so that you can test out this feature and make sure it's working the way you like before committing to a paid plan. Each paid plan also gives you an amount of credits to put towards these messages. You can see all the information about how much money is put towards credits for WhatsApp messages on the plans and pricing page in our app. To make sure service is not interrupted by running out of credits, we have this optional auto reload feature available here. You can adjust the increment, the amount of credits that you're going to buy if your balance falls below the threshold, which you can also adjust. And finally, a monthly limit charged more than you expect. You can also disable this feature right here. From the overview page, we can see the number that you've set up we can also see a little bit of the information I mentioned about how the web push is costed, including the 10 free messages that every plan gets, including the free plan, the cost per WhatsApp message sent, and the amount of credits you have to put towards that cost remaining this month, which is based on your subscription plan. Once you're done, don't forget to turn on some of the opt-in widgets in our app so that you can begin collecting subscribers. That's everything for today. As always, you can reach us at help at hextom.com if you have any questions or concerns.